What's up, guys? Yesterday we, did, we were working on a carburetor. The quarantine has us busy doing stuff in the house, stuff that we wanted to do for a long time. So we have the carburetor ready to go and put it in the Mustang. But today we need to do some tag IDs for the cars. So we have tape and Sharpie written down. Looks ugly. We have a 3D printer. So why not do with a 3D printer? Okay, so 3D printer. First of all, we're gonna put the card where we did transfer from Tinkercad, which is a, what we use to design 3D prints. We put it through Cura. Cura is the program that lets transfer it to the printer, depending on the printer you have. So now we go to print. This is what's in the, in the card. I'm looking for the image that I just processed, selected, and it's gonna start heating up the bed. We're gonna do a little trick. We're gonna put tape on the bed to make it easier to remove the part after it's printed. We have some time until it heats up the bed and the exuder. exuder. This alters a little bit the, the calibration, the height, but it's really minimum and I never had a problem using tape. 3D print, this is the main, 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 main issue when you do a 3D print, the starting, the addition of the part to the bed. So just stay around the printer for a couple of minutes until it starts printing because sometimes you can correct a little flaw on the printer with your hands, remove a little bit of filament going to the wrong place and that's gonna avoid a, a catastrophe on your print. So here we see the temperatures. The platform is at 55 of 65. It's gonna increase once it gets the extruder at the proper temperature, which is racing little by little. We can see that the fan turned on already. It's on, if I put my finger, it's gonna grind my finger. I like to see blood, so don't. It's pretty close, so it's gonna start printing or doing the line on the side at any time right now. So you wanna remove these little pieces. Make sure the print doesn't hit anything. Hit the limit switch. It's gonna do a test line across the, the platform. This is what it just printed. We we'll remove this residue. That's what can cause a catastrophe. So just removing this little thing avoids jams and avoids problems with the addition. You wanna make sure that it's adding properly. You can touch it, that's fine. Just don't press it too hard. But this is the start of the, of the, of the ID tag. it was not perfect I think they put it too way too thick we see all the details that are they don't look you know really good but it's for a tag ID that's all I needed I needed I wanted to be quick get it done fast so now let's see how the challenge goes to remove it this is when the when the tape gets in place cooperating to remove the part. In this case, I think it's gonna be fairly easy. It's coming out nice. Don't take me wrong, it's taking force to bring it up. It's not like just coming up like butter, but it's coming. Yes. So now this is the addition 8 that we remove. Let's 
it doesn't look bad at all. I mean, for what I expected on a on a on a 50, 50 minute print or an hour, it's not bad. I just needed a tag that I'm gonna put double face tape and put it on a on a car. I mean, it's nicer than a piece of tape with a sharpie. Thank you.